How is everybody doing today? Welcome to VR Friday. Today I have some pretty damn exciting news for you and then I have a tutorial for you because I decided, you know what, why not cram more information into these videos for you guys because you guys want a lot of news about VR, a lot of VR tutorials, and why not put two into one video instead of just one thing. So today we're going to be talking about some Oculus Quest 2.0 leaks that came out. Of course, they're not brand new. They came out a few days ago, but I only have VR Monday and VR Friday to talk about them. And therefore, if something comes out on a Tuesday, that's going into VR Friday. So I'm very sorry if you guys already know these. And then I am going to show you guys how to install OpenVR Advanced on your Steam VR. This was actually an idea created by one of you guys on the VR chat meetup. I'm very sorry. I don't remember the name. I'd have to rewatch the video. Video, but thank you so much. That is a great idea and I'm going to show the rest of you how to do that just in case you don't know. OpenVR Advanced essentially allows you to change all your VR settings within your Steam VR within VR. So you can actually change your position, your rotation, everything about it right there. You can even change your height, which is really goddamn weird because you can end up floating in midair, which is funny in VR chat say, but kind of weird. I want to apologize about the hat, but I just took a shower. So if I take this off, it's just this. So I think it's better if it's on. And just before we begin today's video, I want to say stay tuned for tomorrow's video because tomorrow's video is going to be quite interesting. Basically, I tried building a drone all the way from scratch. So I pretty much had to solder anything. Here's a quick glimpse of that. Okay, so I just took out the instruction manual and I think I'm gonna be a while at this. <laughs> so first of all, the new Oculus 2.0 leaks. And I was actually a part of this. I can happily say that I was online at the time of this happening and I did see it. Walmart leaked something called the Oculus Point Raise 64 gigabyte. And that was in Walmart. And there was also a 256 gigabyte model, if I'm correct on that. And the price of the 64 gigabyte one was 299 United States dollars. Now, Oculus Point Raise is clearly some sort of code name. It's not going to be the name of the actual headset itself. Here is a screenshot. I don't know whether my camera is focusing on that or not, but that is the screenshot I took when I first found it. So that's the Oculus Point raise on walmart.com right there and it says availability out of stock but there was a date actually given for that so i'm looking at the reddit of somebody taking a better screenshot of this than me so the 64 gigabyte was supposedly supposed to be 299 dollars which is absolutely insane like that is a great price for a vr headset especially if this is the oculus 2.0 that we're talking about 64 gigabytes is i'd say enough i think i have 64 gigabytes on my oculus quest currently then we have the 256 gigabyte model, which is supposedly supposed to be $399, which is again, an insane price because I bought this Quest for 450, which again makes me think, is this an entirely different Oculus Quest to the Oculus Quest 2.0? Is this some sort of cut down version? That is something I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comment section below. For the pictures, they used the Oculus Go. Of course, that is not going to be it. So that must have just been some sort of stock image. Thankfully, this Redditor linked a link to the Wayback Machine. Damn, that was a tongue twister. So we actually have the page open here right now, and I'm looking at it, $299 for the Oculus Point Ray 64 gigabyte. Again, I'm pretty sure that is a code name. It does say out of stock, and it does say that the release date on the Walmart page was September 16th. So people now think that the Oculus Quest Point Raise is coming out September 16th. So it's either coming out September 16th or they're going to announce something about it on September 16th. All I know is that I think we should be waiting for September 16th. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to be eagerly awaiting that date. Something big is going to happen on that date. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but it's coming up and it's not that long away. It's only 12 days, so you guys can start that countdown on your calendar, start crossing out those dates, because September 16th, I think something big is going to happen. Not only that, but September 16th is also the date for our beloved Facebook Connect. That pretty much confirms the fact that something is going to happen, and the fact that Walmart had it leaked for September 16th, and that's the date of Oculus Connect, I believe we're gonna find out a lot of quality information on September 16th. So start counting down those calendars. Perfect. Let's move on to Open VR Advanced because this is something really cool. This is something I want you guys to check out if you have access to Steam VR, if you have access to Virtual Desktop, if you have access to the Oculus Link, check this out. So what you want to do is you want to go into Google and type in Open VR Advanced. 
So OpenVR Advanced Settings is a dashboard overlay that allows access to advanced functionality of any headset running Steam VR. So the first page you want to launch is the GitHub. This page will be down in the description below. In fact, I'm not even recording my screen right now for you guys because this is really, really simple. So once you open the GitHub page, this link again down in the description below to the right hand side of your screen, you will see a releases page. You want to click on releases and then you want to scroll down and you see 5.2.2, bug fixes, etc. Of course, if you're doing this later, I welcome people watching in the future, but you will have a newer version, of course. So what you want to do is you want to download the installer.exe. It's just there under assets. That is going to download. And what you do then is you just click on it and install it like you normally would. And we're going to hop right into VR and I'm going to show you these settings and what they look like in VR. So yes, I agree. Install. Let's install everything. Okay, it says completed. Let us click close. And now let's launch Steam VR and see exactly what this looks like so that you guys can truly check out the power of this mod. Steam VR, let's go. Are you kidding me? It signed me out of Steam. Okay, so once you are in Steam VR, here is what you want to do. You launch your Steam VR menu just like you normally would, and now in the bottom left you will see OVR Advanced Settings. That is literally how simple it is. Look how many options you have here. You can set your own custom video profiles, you can set your own custom chaperone profiles. And now let's go through the settings really fast. So you have Steam VR, you have your chaperone settings everything you would ever need, your offsets, again, everything you will ever need. You can change your Y offset here. See, you can go up, you can go down, just like that. And now you're gonna be floating in midair. Just in case your height is wrong, you can change it there. You have your motion, of course. Again, here you have your Y offset that will make you float up really far in VR chat. Then going into rotation, of course, you can change your rotation in case that is incorrect. You have your space fix, which will help you fix the floor, recenter your space and everything like that right here in the headset. You have your audio, of course, in case your audio stops working. You can change it right here instead of having to change it on your computer every time. You have your video settings where you get to change everything, including the brightness, which is very interesting. You have your utilities, of course, where you have your keyboard utilities right here in front of you. You even have your media controls right here to be able to stop, start, and next and previous on music. It's great. You have your statistics right here in case you ever need those. Then you have your bindings, of course, to all your controllers. And the last thing you have is settings. So as you can see, you have everything you would pretty much ever need right here, right there in the headset, and you don't need to go into your computer anymore to access them. So everything is right here. You just click the menu button, access OVR advanced right here, and everything is right here in case you ever need it. I personally think this is something everybody should have if you're playing Steam VR because you never know when you might need this. You even have a microphone level right here or even a push to talk. So just in case you're doing a call and you don't want people to be able to hear you all the time, there you go. You even have the option to push to talk or even mute yourself entirely. How cool is that, guys? I think this is a must have mod if you are running Steam VR in any occurrence. If you're on the Oculus Quest, for example, running the link, if you are on the Oculus Quest running virtual desktop or if you have a Rift S, I think this is something you should have because who knows when you might want to fix your chaperone? Who knows when you might want to change your position? And of course, then the additional options of audio, which sometimes doesn't work correctly and the fact that you can switch everything on the go right there within VR. You don't have to take the headset off because we all know how painful it is when you are immersed and all of a sudden something stops working and you just need to access the keyboard and get out of full screen mode on your computer in order to be able to change settings. It's a massive pain and I know you can call that a first world problem, but it's something that will help you guys out and you'll thank yourself in the future for getting it. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comments section below. I love hearing your guys' feedback as long as it's not aggressive. I take constructive criticism very well as long as it's constructive. So if you didn't like the video, please tell me how to improve. If you guys want to join this lovely community that we have constantly growing, and thank you guys all so much for 16,000 subscribers. I already said that on Discord, but I'm going to say it here once again. Talking about the Discord, it's down in the description below in case you guys want to join it. We also have a Reddit down below 
below where I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes. And yeah, if you guys like this type of content, if you like tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. And of course, at the very end, and I put this at the very end now because some people didn't like it, the OG mug sip. The 360p gang knows what's up. Peace.